everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with a small Walgreens haul. Um, I had to run out to Sam's. Generally Sunday is uh, me and my husband's day to go to Sam's and he drinks the Monster Energy drinks and we were extremely lazy yesterday so we didn't even leave the house. I think I was in bed all day pretty much like watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. So needless to say we didn't make our Sam's run. So, um, I went to Sam's and then went to, um, Walgreens on the way back. So, from Sam's, I had to get his Monsters, of course, and then, um, I got him the Call of Duty Ghost game, the new, um, Call of Duty game. Um, and then for myself, I am, I love granola. I have always loved granola since I was, like, in high school and, um, now, high school, of course, I used to eat the kind that, you know, the granola bars that weren't exactly great for you because they had, like, chocolate chocolate chips or were covered in chocolate or something like that. But I have been, I have been, have seen this granola. It's, like, freshly made granola. And, you know, I'm just trying to choose healthier snacks for myself lately because I'm thinking part of some of my breakouts are, one, partly because water. Um, I had... Several months ago, I started back up on my water kick or trying to drink more water. And then when I was on vacation the week of like the 20 from the 18th through the 28th, I drank very minimal, minimal amounts of water. And um, and I've been snacking on a lot of junk food lately. So I think it's coming out in my face because I've got a couple, you know, a few breakouts here. And I keep getting one like right here. Not to mention, I have oily skin in general, but I think the lack of water, the unhealthy snacking is also attributing to the breakouts. So, since I love granola, it is a fibrous snack. So, I figured I would get me some grown that way I can just put them in like little sandwich bags and have them as my snack whenever I start to get hungry. So, sorry to ramble on about that. Um, I, don't, I think that's all that I got from Sam's. Oh, and some those French breads. They're actually really good. And I'm not a bread person, but they're actually really good. So on to my Walgreens um, haul. Didn't buy a whole lot. Just a few things. Um, I do. I picked up two of these um, Nivea lip butters. And this one is, I, I absolutely love this. I am like almost done with the one, with the previous one that I purchased. Um, these were on sale about the, by the register, two for five. They had two, they have three total different um, flavors. This is Caramel Cream Kiss. And oh my God, I absolutely love this. I'm, I want to say I like it. I feel like I like it more than my Maybelline Baby Lips. Only thing I hate and absolutely hate about this product is the packaging. These little tins are not easy to open all the time, especially one if your hands are freshly moisturized or lotioned. It's going to be hard to get it open. Also, you can potentially break a nail trying to get it open. But I will say, and the only flavor that I've tried is the Caramel Cream Kiss Lip Butter. I haven't tried the other two flavors. I did hear from someone else that I follow, La Femme 57 something, um, I have to look up her channel name. She had talked about these, this one and the other two flavors, and she had mentioned that she liked the Caramel Cream Kiss better than the other two. She didn't feel like the other two flavors kept her lips as soft as this one did. So I wanted to pick up some more of these because I tend to put these on like put this on at night before I go to bed. I've been using I've been trying out some of the Maybelline the tinted medicated ones. Now you can't really I mean they work but putting them on before you go to bed um, because they are tinted and these actually have the one one of the ones that I've tried actually has quite a bit of pigmentation so you end up with the stuff all over your pillow so not exactly practical for going to bed and I feel like I like the tinted one better than just the like clear one or the semi clear one that I tried I'll have to do a separate video about that but so these were two for five and then the next thing I got were pretty much they were um, 
I guess they're having like a their gel polish systems on clearance. Well, except for the Sally Hansen, the Kiss and the Sen Sensational um, kits and polishes were on clearance, like um, pretty much like almost half price because the polishes are five ninety nine and it's like last chance. So I don't know if they're going to get even lower or what, but they had quite a few colors left. So I should have gotten more of the sensational ones um but i need to check to see exactly what colors i have so i don't buy any you know duplicates because since i'm only doing the gel nails on my toes it doesn't make sense to have so many but um so the um sensational gel polishes and these are actually some newer colors that i had not seen before and this one is called Disco Fever. It's like a shimmery, like navy blue with some, um, like a navyish blue, it looks like, with um, some silver shimmer. And these were again on clearance or on sale with last chance stick tags um, uh, oh, uh, underneath them. So, and they were $5.99, and the bottles are 0.25 fluid ounces, and it comes with a, hmm, that's neat, I didn't realize, each bottle comes with a orange stick. I knew I should have opened it from the bottom. I do this every time. So, um, I just wanted to show you what one of the bottles looks like, because I don't have one, like, readily sitting out. This is so you there. The bottles are fairly small. So again, 0.25 fluid ounces. And again, this one is called Disco Fever. And this again is a looks like a navy blue. Like a navy grayish blue, a smoky blue with silver shimmers in it. And then again, $5.99. All of these gel polish nail colors are $5.99. This one's gorgeous. It's a shimmery brown. And this one is called Ex Espresso Bean. Very gorgeous. Great for the fall, you know, in the winter for your toes. And this one is really, really, really gorgeous. Um, this one is called Mi Amor. And it's like what you can't, it's not showing up really well it's like a looks like a peachy orange with some shimmer in it and then this last one is called little gold dress and it is just a shimmery gold polish gel polish and again little gold dress and um so those were um 5.99 but they were actually, I paid $5.09 for them because I had another one of my little reward card, um, Walgreens card things filled up with 10 stamps. Once you get 10 stamps, um, you, this is what the card looks like. So you get stamps on each one once you fill up the card you get 15 percent off of your order you can only get this at the, at the cosmetics counter and i believe they will only stamp it at the cosmetics counter but i did find out that say you purchase something and the cosmetic counter was not open and you bought cosmetic items you can take your receipt back in and get the stamps at a later date i don't know how much time you have to do that but i was told that that you could do that if the cosmetics department was not open and then the last thing that i got was the um kiss everlasting gel polish starter system now um this one it says it lasts up to 14 days. High gloss shine won't damage natural nails. No drying time. And this one has a like a like a bright pink polish included. And this is the the kit that it comes in. Um, it does not have the lamp. The lamp is separate, and you need a LED lamp. And I don't think the lamp for this 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 
for this set is very pricey but i didn't see them on clearance unfortunately so it basically it comes with the lush color gel um 0.14 fluid ounces basic gel top gel the gel cleanser 25 lint free wipes sorry a buffing block manicure stick mini file and instruction sheet so it's dpp dbp camphor toileen and formaldehyde free um and I guess if you want to find out more about the product, you can go to the website Everlasting Polish and it gives you um, information on how to remove the polish on the side. And then it also gives you um, on this side the different different colors that are available. So, um, so yeah, so this is the set, the kit and everything that comes in it, not including the lamp. So, but I did since they and this these were on sale for $9.99 for this kit. Most of these kits generally retail for at least $20 to $30. So I figured at $9.99, this wasn't a bad price, and I wanted to try um try them out. And I had bought a lamp from the KISS lamp, because the KISS lamp which I kind of like that you can uh, purchase it separately because like if you already had a oh, criminy. like if you already had like a gel starter kit and say your lamp dot that came with the kit this is the lamp that the kiss lamp which is much larger than the lamp that you get from this is the Sally Hansen lamp and this is the kiss lamp and I believe this one is a little bit yeah this one is 7.5 watts and this one is 7 watts I believe so and this one separately when I purchased this I believe it was $29 so if I if they had if they that lamp would have been on sale, I would have picked that up, but they didn't have I didn't see any tag for the lamps. Next time I go back, I will check and see. But so since the um actual kit was only $9.99, which actually I ended up paying eight something because with the 15% off, two of them only cost me um so I end up paying two at 849 so which is 1698 and um, yeah so what I did was I picked up a second one for you guys so just um, comment down below um, enter me um, and I will close this giveaway out today is Monday so Friday at like 8 p.m. Um, the giveaway will be um, giveaway will be up. So basically, what you will get is everything. Oh, isn't this a better mother? I swear, every time I go to this damn whoa. Oh, I'm so okay. The file was right there. Ooh, I was about to say every time I go to this Walgreens, I have a problem. But and also make sure you check your receipts because um, also the Sensational polishes. Like if you do decide to go to Walgreens and pick them up, they did not ring up for the sale price. So make sure you check your receipt or watch them as they're ringing up because it rang up full price. So I didn't realize it till I got all the way home, and then I had to go back. Luckily, it's just right up the street, so I had to go back up there and have them readjust the price or adjust the price or whatever. So if you do purchase these Sensational polishes on clearance with the tag $5.99 make sure you watch while they're ringing it up or check your receipt before you leave the store because mine did not ring up the actual sale price she had the cashier end up having to adjust it so make sure you um, pay attention you should always check your receipt I should have learned that from the last time when I was charged twice for one polish but anyway so since I was not supposed to have a giveaway in October, but I don't know what happened. Things just kind of got away from me. 
and um, actually it was a friend's birthday and some of the stuff that I was using, going to use for the giveaway, I ended up giving to my friend for her birthday because she was like getting into nails and nail polish and stuff like that. So one of the, this is just one of the things that I'm giving away this month. I'm actually waiting for another item that I'm going to give away um, to come in the mail. Whew, I'm having brain farts like a mother. So, um, unfortunately, um, just because of international shipping, um, you have that you have to be internet. Uh, you have to live in the United States. You have to be over 18 or have your mom's permission. Um, well, actually, no, scratch that. You don't have to be over 18. If you're not over 18, you just have to have your parents' permission for me to send this to you. Um, so you have until Friday. I don't even know what today is. Friday. I'm so unorganized. So today is Monday, November the 11th. The giveaway will end Friday, November the 15th at midnight. I will then record and announce the winner on Saturday the 16th. So all you have to do is one, be a subscriber. In the comments below, type in just enter me. And then, um, if you can't leave a comment, um, just send me an email, I guess, saying enter me. But your email has to come to me before Friday at midnight. So, um, must be a subscriber. You can be under 18, but I need parents' permission. U.S. only giveaway ends Friday the 15th at midnight. So, that is it. And then just leave a comment saying enter me subscriber leave a comment saying enter me must be 18 unless you get parents permission u.s residents only so that is it sorry this is so long and so scatterbrained but oh, last minute i just saw this and thought you know why not they're on sale they're only only pay 850 for it so why not let one of my subscribers try these especially if you're someone who likes your polish to last a little bit longer and what you can do with the gel polish systems is just apply this as normal and then you know do your final coat take off the tacky layer and then do stamping over top of this and then you can take the stamping off keep redoing it until the polish pretty much grows out because using regular nail polish remover is not going to damage the gel when you take off the stamping. So you can keep the same color and then just keep restamping different designs over it, especially if you're going to be out of town or something like that and just, you just need a long wearing manicure or in your feet like I do. So sorry to ramble, but must be 18. I'm must be a subscriber must type in the comments enter me um you don't have to be 18 if you are under 18 i need you to get your parents permission and you must be a u.s resident so and the giveaway ends friday november 15th at midnight so thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye